the picking and packing process can be a lot easier. Easier, thanks to the picking assistant and packing assistant, which are implemented within the base linker system. However, before you start picking your items and making use of the assistant, configure all of the settings, set them up so that they answer your specific needs, and support your system of processing orders in your warehouse. To change the settings of the picking and packing assistant, you have to go into the Orders tab, then into Settings. Here we have a separate section dedicated to the picking and packing assistant. First, let's focus on the general settings. Here we define the coloring of the entire picking and packing assistant. This refers to the coloring of the products marked as packed. The contrast option can be useful, for example, to people with a vision impairment or devices with low resolution screens. What should the order button look like? What should the product button look like? However, we can also choose an option for this to be services solely by a barcode scanner. Then we have the options to do with picking. Here we can decide, amongst others, what should happen when an order is picked. Do we want to move on to the next order? No. Yes, move to the next order after picking is done. Or, yes, after picking, allow the product to be scanned and move to the corresponding order. What should happen to the picked items? Should they be moved to the bottom of the list? Do we want to scan to carts? Here we pick yes or no. Then we set the maximum number of orders that can be in one cart, followed by what additional information should be visible during picking. You can choose, for example, buyer's comments, seller's comments, any type of information from the order form or information related strictly to the product, for example, the product's EAN, SKU code, warehouse location, or attributes. Do you want to show product thumbnails whilst picking? And if you want to sort the items in the picking assistant and in what way? By location, by EAN, SKU, or, for example, alphabetically. Of course, we need to save any changes made. Then we move on to the packing assistant. Within the packing assistant section, Similarly to the picking assistant, we need to decide what will happen once the order is packed. Do we want to move on to the next order straight away? Do we want to automatically remove packed orders from the packing assistant? Should they simply disappear, or should they remain visible? Do we want to move the packed items to the bottom of the list? Do we want to display boxes previously added to the system? Here, you decide if you want the relevant size boxes matched to the size of the order you are currently packing to be visible on the packing assistant screen. What other information from the order should be visible during packing? What information about the product should be visible during packing? Do we want to see image thumbnails? How do we want to sort the items? And how long should the countdown to a photo be, if a photo is set to be taken? In the next section, we set up the stations. We can add any number of stations. Each station can have a default printer assigned to it. One, two, or three. We can call each station whatever we want. Additionally, aside from stations, we can add the so-called carts. Adding to cart is one of the methods we can use to pick our products and later on pack them. If you want to pick items into carts, you have to set it all up first. In the Picking Assistant, right here, we need to say Yes to Cart Scanning. If we select Yes here, then we need to prepare such carts. Each cart has its own name and a barcode. We can edit each cart at any given point. We can change its name and its color. The barcodes need to be printed out, so we click on Print Summary, cut the barcode out, and stick it to our cart. Then during picking, we will need to scan the barcode of the relevant cart. This way, Baselinker will know that we will be picking into this specific cart. Here, we can also add a new cart or add many carts. Aside from the carts, before starting to pick and pack, it's worth setting up the outer boxes. Remember that when adding boxes, you need to add them in order from the smallest to the biggest. 
You can change the order of the list by dragging each line up or down. To add a new box, we click on Add Cardboard, then input the height, width, and length. Remember that Baselinker will only recognize and match the size of the box to the order if within the Baselinker warehouse in the product card, these three values are filled in, height, width, and length. Next, we need to set up the workstation settings. How is the product collection made? One at a time, into carts, or as a group? We can change this setting directly while using the packing assistant, which I'll show you in the next lesson. However, here we can set it up for a given device. Here, we also need to enable the camera. If you want a photo to be taken during the packing process, then here we need to select the default camera, which will take photos of the product. Clients often install a camera directly above the packing station desk and the photo is taken during the packing process. So, we have a photo of the product just before the box gets sealed so the customer can see all of their products are indeed inside the box. This is especially useful in case of a complaint. One of the settings of the Picking and Packing Assistant is whether the Personal Events, which we added previously in the Automatic Actions tab in Personal Events, should be visible in the Picking and Packing Assistant as well. Each personal event has three settings. It can be displayed in the order list. It can be displayed in the Packing Assistant as well as in the Collection Assistant. This is set up so that the person who is picking and packing this order can see this button straight away. Once this person picks or packs the order will be able to press this button straight away. Press it, and for example, order a courier if, of course, we've prepared an appropriate automatic action to go with this personal event, which will book the courier for us. On the left-hand side, we can also see barcodes, which can be used during picking and packing. These, of course, have to be printed out in advance and placed by the picking and packing station. Scanning this code will result in the same action as pressing the button.